So this is uh, my method of uh, helping deal with the mites. I cut out this drone, drone brood. So what I'll do is I'll just shake some bees into the into the colony here. My face just go like this. Then we're just left with the left with the drones. Take a serrated knife. Well, it is a serrated. Doesn't necessarily have to be serrated and just cut out the sealed drone brood, which you can see this is a whole thing, because many of these will be con will contain mites. And what do we have here? Let's look for a queen cell with some little bit of jelly in there. You see that, Joe? There we go. There we go. Yeah, so we'll check that out. Anyway, so there we go. We'll just take this like this. Down here. it out. Now, if you're an old-fashioned beekeeper, you can put this between two hunks of red, but this is the 21st century and nobody has to be eating that, so I'm not going to do that. But this is pretty straightforward. Put this back into the colony. They'll continue. The advantage of this compared to the solid green ones is these have eggs and larva in them. If you take the solid green ones out, during the intervening period while the queen has to lay the other one up, the only place the mites can go is into the worker, worker cells. With these, there are still, there are still um, eggs and larva available for the, for the mites to access. They, it will also helps with um, keeping a bit of swarm control because bees um, really hate unemployment. Give them something to do. All right, thank you.